So you're PCSing to Hawaii and you're hearing all these terms like TLA, BAH, COLA, per diem, basically all these things referencing the government giving you money, but you don't really understand what it means. Well, in this video, we're gonna cover all of it, a couple tips and tricks I have for you. It's gonna save you a lot of money and hopefully help you make a little bit more money. Stick around get all the details. See you on the other side. What's going on guys? Like I mentioned in this video, we're going to cover basically all the financing side of PCSing over here and some of the monthly money that you're going to be getting from the government to PCS out here. But before we get into that, let me quickly introduce myself. This is your first time here. My name is Patrick Longley. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Oahu and have been for nearly a decade helping military service members like yourself with their real estate needs. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I've got my contact information right here, or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. And one last thing, if you've never used your VA loan or you want to learn how you can build wealth with that VA loan, I have a course that I sell online, but if you message me or email me, I'll give it to you for free. That goes over the entire VA loan process, buying a home with your VA loan and leveraging it to build wealth in a real estate portfolio. So just make sure you message me or comment down below, send me an email and I'll get you that free access code. With that being said, let's jump into exactly what all these terms mean, TLA, BAH, per diem, COLA, all of it. What is it mean for you and your family. First thing we're going to go over is TLA. That stands for temporary lodging allowance. So when you get shipped out here, you're going to have 30 to 60 days to basically make a decision. Do you want to rent? Do you want to live on base? Or do you want to purchase a home? I always suggest purchasing a home, but I digress. With that being said, they're going to put you generally in a hotel, depending on your rank, but they'll generally put you in a hotel with your family for 30 to 60 days for you to basically set that all up rent, live on post, or buy a home. Within those 30 to 60 days, they are going to pay for your lodging. Now, you're generally gonna have some options. Now, I have a link down below of some of the military hotels that you can choose from. Now, if you have a pet, there are a couple that are pet friendly. Some of those are gonna be the Surf Jack, the Honolulu Hotel Airport, as well as the Residence Inn. Now, once again, depending on your rank and which hotel is available, you're gonna wanna pick one of those and they're going to pay for it. Now, a lot of times you may have to pay for it directly on your governmental ID card, but just know that you will get paid back 10 days later. Now, a little tip on how you can leverage that money that you're getting from the government to get more money is to, instead of use your governmental credit card, is use your actual personal credit card. Because then what you can do is actually get points or miles from those dollars that you're spending that you're gonna get paid back 10 days later, and then you reap the benefits of the miles or the points on your personal credit card. Now, a lot of people like to ask me, well, can I pocket the difference if my hotel is cheaper than we were actually anticipating and what my TLA allots me? Unfortunately, no, they don't. That's once again why it's beneficial if you're trying to leverage it and get some more money out of it, is to leverage that personal credit card so you can get the points, miles, or extra cash back on using your personal card and then getting paid back from the government 10 days later. So just remember, you are gonna have to spend that money and they will pay you back 10 days later. Now the next thing we're gonna go over is your per diem. So now we've got your lodging sorted out, government's paying for that, they're gonna reimburse you 10 days later, and then you have your per diem. This is basically an allotment that's been set for you to feed yourself and your family and for any incidentals that come up. Generally, depending on your rank and how many dependents you have, it could be anywhere between a couple hundred bucks a day, but it's one tip that I have for you is that when you're selecting your hotel, you actually will get less per diem if you pick a hotel that has a full kitchen. Now, I would suggest picking a hotel that doesn't have a full kitchen, you'll get more per diem. You can actually pocket some of that money if you don't go eat out all the time or just buy a lot of stuff that you can eat in the unit. That's gonna be the best way to leverage the cash that you're getting and understand how the system works, that if you have a full kitchen in that hotel room, they're gonna give you less per diem because they're gonna expect you to cook in. So just a quick tip there. Now, the next thing we're gonna go over is BH and COLA. Now, COLA is specific for basically overseas places. So you generally don't get COLA if you're somewhere on the mainland, but if you are overseas and for whatever reason they consider Hawaii like a different country, but if you're you know overseas PCSing to let's say Japan or to Hawaii, you're gonna get this COLA payment, which is gonna be an added payment on top of your BAH and it's gonna be different. You can look at the calculator. I have a link down below that shows you more or less what you get based on your rank and also if you have dependents. Now that leads us to BAH. BAH, basic allowance housing, is what you will get while you are here if you live off post. If you live on post, you do not get BAH. Keep that in mind, guys. So you are gonna most likely wanna live off post so that you can get that free, tax-free money from the government to pay for your rent, or what a lot of my savvy clients do is utilize that money to buy a home and pay their mortgage payment. So the BAH is something that, once again, you'll get paid accordingly 
based on your rank as well as how many dependents or lack there of dependents that you have. So again, I've got a calculator down below and a sheet that shows you what you can expect in regards to COLA and BAH payment. Well guys, that pretty much covers all the different finances, money that you can expect to get from the military when it comes to PCS and out to Hawaii. If you guys have any other general questions, I'd love to connect with you. Got my contact information right here or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. And again, if you wanna get that course for free, comment down below, send me an email and I'll send you a free coupon code showing you how to leverage that VA loan to build wealth for you and your family and build a real estate portfolio. With that being said, I'm Patrick with PatrickLawnlyRealty.com, powered by eXp Realty. Hope you have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.